a better baby mama. I could give two flying federal fucks I got a child who has a father who wants to be in their life. If he don't want me, he don't want her either. I'm a better baby mama. Of course I'ma tell my baby daddy, my baby can't be around no kids that you have after mine. I don't need him thinking he can have a whole family without me. I'm a better baby mama. Of course I'm gonna use my baby to get an invitation to his family house for the holidays. And then when he show up to his family house, I'ma have an attitude. Because why the fuck are you here? Now I can't talk shit about you. I'm a better baby mama. Of course I'ma tell anybody and everybody that I'm listening. My baby daddy ain't shit. He's terrible. He don't do nothing for his kids. He don't care about them kids. It's really me just keeping him from his kids because he don't want me no more. I'm a better baby mama. Of course I have to pre-approve any woman you call yourself dating. I don't need just anybody around my baby. Full alert. If they put it in me, I ain't approving the ass. I'm a bitter baby mama. Of course I'm gonna tell my baby daddy. You better not have my baby around that new wife you got. Even though I can have the same baby around every time Dick and Harry that shows me the slightest bit of attention. I see it with the fuck I see it. I'm a bitter baby mama. I don't give a damn that I know my daughter need her daddy in her life. I didn't have my daddy in my life. Look how good I turned out. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, doke, party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Man, so I'm an 80s baby, and I think 80s music was the best genre of music out there. Now, we got a little older. The 90s music came around. I was in my late teens, early 20s when the 90s music came out. And honestly, even back then, I was not a fan of 90s music. That's when we have uh, rap became more popular. Hip-hop became more popular. Um, the R&B scene was raunchy. Man, I remember um, we had Silk. You know, let me lick you up and down. Had the women going crazy, right? And we had... Uh, um, Jodeci and a whole bunch of thugs that was starting to do R&B, okay? And then it evolved to the 2000s. And then we got the R. Kelly's. And then we got, what, uh, who else was just out there? We had a lot of just, eh, the music was kind of getting raunchier and more raunchier the more it goes, all right? So now we're at the early 2020s and I want to ask you a question, guys. Who is the top R&B band out here now? Chris Brown? Chris Brown is the top selling R&B performer right now. Chris Brown got all these ladies going crazy, right? Drake also. Drake. I put Drake now into the R&B category. I don't put Drake as a rapper. Don't come after me for this, because again, he's all in his feelings. So we're going to put him as an R&B singer. But have you noticed that there's no R&B artist any, out here anymore? None. Not really. Chris Brown? <laughs> come on. Who else do we have out here? Who else can you start making babies with? There's no baby making music out here. There's no more R&B music out here. Nobody want to sing to her. Nobody want to sing to you hoes anymore. Excuse me, you 304s. Nobody want to sing to you girls no more. Because y'all done ruined it for everybody. All right? R&B was rhythm and blues. Let me get in your pants. I could give you the stars, the moon, the rain, and the mountains. I'll give you the world. Nobody singing that no more. Not to you girls. Hell nah. No, 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 no. You girls. All you want is Netflix and chill, right? Back in the days, it would take a man 
had to get married before he got a piece, right? He had to go married. He had to sell his, his cattle and trade his cattle to your dad for you, right? He used to work hard for that cattle. He used to work hard for that little piece of land and he used to trade it for you. I'm a safe woman and I'm no longer in the adult industry. So please stop pushing that narrative, okay? I don't film anymore. I only talk to fans online on my OF page. That's it. And eventually I will get out of that business as well once I find something else to do. But until then, I'm no longer in the adult industry. I'm a safe woman. And please stop disrespecting me by saying that. People change year by year. Thank you. And some guys had to go to war. They had to jump on the ships to war to foreign countries like Asia and Germany. And, and, and meet up with those locals over there and bring them back over here. But they married them over here. It was expensive for a guy to get a piece, right? Now, 2024, all you need now is the internet, Netflix, Domino's Pizza, and we chilling. That's all it takes now. So who the hell want to send you when it comes this easy? It's a dime a dozen now. When I was younger, you know, I had older guys say, man, women are a dime a dozen. It's like uh, uh, a bus ride. You miss one, you catch another one. I didn't get it back then. You know what I'm saying? But now I get it. It's all over the place. The price of pee has come down. It went from a cow, trade the cow in, to a slice of pizza. Netflix and chill. <laughs> So again, who the hell want to sing to you? Ain't none of y'all worth singing. Nobody want to sing about love and romance and seeing our children grow up together and raising children. Nobody doing that no more. It's all because of you. You there. <laughs> you don't drop the the price of pea thing all the way down to a slice of pizza. And it's about to get lower than that. Yeah. So again, Where's romance? Where's chivalry? It's all go bye-bye. Nobody's doing that no more. You want a thug? Here you go. Here's Chris Brown. He'll sing to you. Aww. Who else you want? <laughs> okay, Osiris. What's that dude's name? I don't know these guys' name. But there's nobody. There's no R&B singers. There's no R&B no R singing groups out here. The women. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ain't nobody talking about love. They talking about smash. And pass and keep it moving. Right? Get in my DMs. That's all they're talking about. Nobody's trying to do that no more. And we're not going back to it. And don't look for me for no answers. Cause I really don't give a fuck. I'm not trying to say this shit. I'm one of that those guys over there. Let that shit burn. I'ma stand right there and let it burn. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not even trying to convince none of y'all. Especially if you're over 30. Y'all hard headed. Uh -huh. You think you know it all? Fine. Keep it moving. Right? The next generation, my kids' generation, I'ma try to help it out with them. But if the if the um if they got taken over by the feminist movement, I'ma let it go. I'm not gonna try to fix it either. So yeah. Shivery is dead. Romance is pfft. nobody's doing that shit. Nobody's singing to you. Nobody's crooning to you. For what? <laughs> so you can divorce me? After 10 years, take half my money? Nah, nah, we, we done seen that movie. We done seen that movie. Thank you, Tyler Perry. We seen that movie. We're not doing that shit. We're not singing. We're not writing no love notes. We're not taking you out to no goddamn Ruth Chris. You better be happy with Cheesecake Factory. Okay? And then, you know, monogamy is another one. Nobody's going to be in the mon monogamous anymore. Mm. That shit is dead. That shit's cooked. It's going to be polygamy moving on. Two or more. Because again, there are more women than men. You're going to have to start sharing. If you want, we're already sharing already. So some of you women have two, three baby daddies. You're sharing already. It's just in reverse. It should be a man with two, three wives, but we're in a, uh, we're in a society now that the women have two, three men. What's going on here? 
So yeah, man, that's dead. Don't ask for this no more. Especially if you're over 30. I don't want romance. I don't want, and you've been, you've been 15 years old. You start having sex at 15 years old. Now you're 35. Trying to talk about you looking for love. You've been for 20 years. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? You've been for 20 years. All these guys been wrong. No, it never was supposed to be like this. It was never supposed to be like this. But hey, the fuck I know. I'm just a driver. <laughs> if you got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you later. And all you crooners, get off my lawn. <laughs>